Welcome to Teslas in Canada. Today we're going to talk about what you need to do to prepare your Tesla for the winter. Now there are uh, quite a few tips and tricks regarding the battery and as you can see it's fall here right now. Today the temperature is actually minus one down to minus four. It's definitely time to start thinking about winter tires, what to do with the battery to make sure it's preconditioned before you go on a drive. Now a lot of people mention preconditioning but they don't explain how and what you've got to do to do that. That's what this video is about. And hopefully you'll learn something new. Be prepared for when the snow starts flying. The cold weather is now here in Canada. What are the best practices for driving your Tesla in the winter time? First things first, whether you're driving a rear wheel drive Tesla or an all wheel drive Tesla, you'll want to have your battery charged to the highest that you can. If it's a rear wheel drive and it has the LFP battery in it, which is the newer rear wheel drive Tesla Model 3s and the Model Ys, you will want to charge those to 100% to make sure you have enough range because as the weather gets colder the range goes down and especially when you're preconditioning which I'll get into in just a sec on how to do that you are going to use more battery up front but it's going to save you battery on your drive. So if you have the LFP battery in your Tesla you're going to want to set your charging to 100% and if you don't have an LFP battery if you own a dual motor Tesla Model 3 or Model Y or you own own an S or an X, you're going to want to put your charging set to 80%, which you're going to do here in your app by going through the settings menu. So how do you precondition your battery? You do have a defrost mode, which you can use to defrost the windows and things like that. That can help with preconditioning. But the way that I do it and utilize it is I actually go into the settings and I'll go to climate controls and from climate controls I will then go and select basically what temperature I want and I will heat up the car that way. So that's the way that I like to do it. I'll heat up the car, put my butt warmer on, my heated steering wheel on and the windows. Another way to precondition your battery and not have to go through the app and do all of that stuff is if you have a set time that you leave each morning say from monday to friday you're going into work and you leave at say 7 30 in the morning you can set the time of departure and your car will precondition and be all warm and defrosted for you right when you need to leave so you can do that in the settings here on the tesla app put that all in set it up and your car will be preconditioned for you, ready to go each morning. It's very helpful to do that. and cozy in here the windshield wiper heater is on everything else is off right now but when you put it on max defrost usually you get all those so that heats the windshield heats the wipers heats the steering wheel which i wish you could feel this it's so nice and cozy heats the seat that i'm sitting on and gets you all ready to go. Then all you have to do is click this once, wipe the windshield and you are clear. And if you want to clear your side windows, you're good to go. You can park it outside even when it is minus one degree. Off we go. Make sure you have all weather floor mats. You can get those at Tesloid. Use the coupon code TIC10 for some money off at tesloid.com or .ca. It works both in the States and Canada. Make sure to get those orders in before the snow flies because it really helps protect your interior of your Tesla Model 3. Y, S, or X, or Cybertruck. The other most important thing, and actually it is 100% the most important thing, is making sure you have the right set of winter tires. Now, especially if you have a rear wheel drive version for any Tesla, because they are a bit heavier with the battery weight, although the battery weight is low, it is well planted and it is 
easier to get going and drive, especially with the rear wheel drive. I've driven through lots of deep snow with the Model 3 and that's low, low to the ground. The Model Y has more clearance, so it's going to be easier to drive in the snow. Regardless of all that, you still need to make sure you have the correct winter tires. Now, the tires I use are Michelin X Ice tires, and running those last winter, I had zero issues with that. When I had the stock tires for the first few snowfalls, that was not fun. The tires were slippery. I wouldn't recommend using the stock tires that come with it, even though they do say mud and snow. If you're here in Canada, they should come with mud and snow tires, but I would recommend getting a dedicated set of winter tires and the Michelin X Ices I found were really great. A little bit more expensive. I think they were $50 more or so than the other tires options that I was given. Remember, that is the only point of contact between the road or the ice and the car. If that point of contact is not good, not strong, it will slide and slip and could cause an accident. So making sure you have a good set of tires, that's what you want to make sure you do before winter before that first snowfall. Anyways, I think that's it for my winter tips right now. Basically make sure you have the right winter tires. Having floor mats is very ideal. Use Tesloid or Axiato's coupon code down below. Preconditioning your battery, making sure it's charged, leaving yourself a little bit of grace period there because your battery is going to be a bit less in range as opposed to driving in ideal 20 plus degree temperatures. If you're driving in 20 plus degrees, you'll get more to your EPA rated range and then you will get a little bit less range as the temperature keeps going down. But I still find if you need to drive 300 kilometers in a day, you are totally fine to do that, even a little bit more than that. But just be aware of the fact that there is going to be some difference there in terms of uh, how far you can drive and how you drive. Driving faster is going to drain more battery. You'll get the hang of it as you get used to it. So anyways, thanks for checking this out. And one other note, is November 30th, the Cybertruck launch event. I'll be doing a live stream here on the channel. So if you're interested in finding out all about that and the, seeing the first deliveries, subscribe to the channel and make sure you have your notification bell on and you'll be one of the first to see that. And I'm very excited to see these things, these Cybertrucks here on the road and get behind the wheel of one. And I do have mine ordered, but we'll see when that comes. It's probably gonna be 2025, 2026, depending on when they're available in Canada. And stay tuned to the channel. I'll be making lots more Tesla content for you leading up to Christmas and beyond how things are going with the Model Y in the winter with the rear wheel drive version.